Cheers, everybody, and welcome to Cosmos Sexy vs. Skanky. I'm Lindsay Rodriguez, and this is my co-host, Mike Cannon. Hello. Now, you might wonder why we are holding drinks in our hands, and it's not because we have addiction problems. It's because, of course, the holiday season is upon us, which means, well, for me, a ton of shopping, not really extended family time, as all of my family are in other countries, and, of course, holiday parties. Cheers to that, all Mike. All right, so pound some drinks in an effort to forget about that extra long hug your creepy uncle gave you. I'm so glad my mum is an only child. It's important to look your best at all of these seasonal shindigs, but it's also important to remember that not every outfit is appropriate for every type of holiday party. So what constitutes a fashion party foul? We hit the streets to find out. What have you seen people kind of mess up and show up like, wow, what are you doing? I've seen people wear like the tuxedos right. with sneakers. Maybe like the tacky baggy Christmas sweater when everyone else is kind of like dressed up, <laughs> looking good. Mid-level managers with the f me boots is kind of funny. Definitely the short skirts or the big slits. And yeah. But I mean, it's, you know, hey, if you can rock it with confidence, then by all means, go for it. So Yeah, I mean, look at you. Some chick with a nice dress. Wearing a really low cut top, it just kind of made things like awkward, you know, because yeah. you can't not look. Any outfit is fine because you just, it ends up off eventually. It's like that girl who wanted to, always wanted to lash out at work, but just never really got a chance to. Which is like, oh, you're the secretary? I didn't know you had all that. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else is talking bad about it, but I'm like, wow, go ahead, Susie. You know, <laughs> Susie's about to get a raise, you know? So, <laughs> in your pants. Nobody wants to be the fashion nightmare before Christmas. So here to help us avoid that awful fate is our favourite fashion expert, Glamo. Hey, Glamo. Hi. Glamo. Uh, Mike can't reach you with his drink, so he's just going to say your name in a way that's going to really creep you out. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, welcome to the party. I was wondering if you guys would like to play a little game of I Never. I just figured since we have drinks randomly. <laughs> How'd these get here? That we <laughs> there is a twist, though. The loser of this game has to wear the holiday sweater of shame. Oh my God, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna start. All right. So as far as I'm aware, having not been invited to many sleepovers as a child, if you have done the thing that I say you drink. Okay. We'll start with a, kind of a cliched one. I have never hooked up with anyone at a holiday party. No. <laughs> See, I knew I was the only one. All right, we'll keep playing throughout the show. And uh, so make sure you stay tuned, it's gonna get, well, maybe a little bit messy. All right, Glamour, when it comes to holiday parties, what should we be keeping in mind when it comes to our outfits? So I think I'll start with the office party. For the office party, I believe that this is a time that you can kind of show your fashion forward flair a little bit more to your coworkers. One of the items that I think that you can wear is a great cocktail dress in a jewel tone color, like uh, purples, reds, greens, golds. You get it. The golds? I got it. Exactly. <laughs> With some great daring accessories, embellishing stones, maybe, or some sequin. Like, this is the time that you can wear those type of things. What about ornaments on your nipples? I think save that one for Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the office party. What's some other types of parties? So, the house party. And this one I absolutely like because the house party is a little bit more intimate and I think that you can wear more of formal attire to a house party. This one you can wear a longer dress. Uh, you can play in fabrications a little bit more if you want to wear like something like brocade, or velvet, or leather. Hopefully they don't have the fire burning though because that could end in some swamp ass. <laughs> okay. So then lastly is the biggest party of the new year. New Year. Yeah. I call this one our grab bag or our egg roll. You can just mix it up. And I think pretty much anything that you pull out could possibly work. And be gaudy, like it's New Year's, damn it. Well, with that in mind, I, have a, I never, I never wore anything inappropriate to the office party. Please explain. It was um, a work party. We, it was a theme party, I might add. Um, we all had to go as a song title. I went in a bikini and strapped a blob doll upside down to myself and went as Brian Adams, Summer of 69. Wow. And my friend had sex with a blob doll in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> so with Glamo's great tips in mind, I think we should play a game of where to wear it. I'll put up a picture of a celebrity in party attire and we have to guess which kind of holiday party they're attending. So here's our first picture and it's Rihanna 
on a red carpet for Rihanna. <laughs> It's not really dressed up. She kind of looks like she's maybe like going to a pep rally for her high school. <laughs> I she's, agree. Yeah, she's like cheering on the captain of the football team, hair tied up. This is not about taking a fashion <laughs> risk. This is such a yawn. I mean, it's still like, honey, it's your party. Break it up. What kind of holiday party do you think this outfit would be appropriate for? I would say that she could probably babysit for her neighbor's child on New Year's Eve while they go out and have fun. And he would be a one lucky kid. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. All right, let's start the next picture. Rosario Dawson in a floor-length evening gown. Glamour, do you want to start? Because I'm stumped on this one. I don't I, get invited to nice parties. You're stumped, I'm stuck. I cannot take my eyes off the elephant in the room. I <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm definitely looking at them. It's way too much cleavage. This has to be people that you know that are used to seeing your breath. They aren't intimidated by them. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> or a room full of single men and you're trying to get a man during the holidays. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Why don't we have another round of I Never before getting back into the holiday pictures, what do you think? I never knowingly walked into my house after a holiday party. <laughs> <laughs> You're just drinking with us to be supportive? Of course. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay, here we have the gorgeous Alicia Keys. I think what she has on may be good for something maybe during the day. Like maybe if you have like a brunch, you know, before, you know, while everyone's cooking and preparing your holiday meal or something like that. I could see that. It kind of looks like all stepmothers are getting together and having lunch together. We're just gonna wear our pantsuits and get nuts. Yeah, like, girl, don't get dressed up. Yeah, drink some Bloody Marys, <laughs> maybe some, some screwdrivers. Just get wild. <laughs> Should we play a quick round of I Never? Because I just sort of won. Yes. Okay. I never have said something really mean to one of my co-workers at a holiday party. And let me tell you something, that's the time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're drinking truth serum, you might as well let them know. <laughs> um, moving on, the holiday season can fill up with parties really fast, which can put a real strain on your wardrobe. I think it'd be really great if we could just style one dress into a bunch of different ways. Do you think it can be done, Glamour? It totally can be done. And I think that one of the ways that women can approach this is just to think accessorize. Like, use the dress as the base. Different ways that you can approach it is wearing jewel tones, because that's great for the holiday season. Use statement jewelry, jewel tones, and just accessorize that one dress. You can belt it. You can put a brooch on it. You can put a bolero on top of it. Like you can just really just think outside of the box when it comes to like, how am I gonna make this one simplistic dress look different each and every time that I wear it? So nobody will clock, oh, that's the same dress she's wearing. So belt, brooch, and bolero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know what a bolero is? I don't know any of those things. Okay, well you know what a belt is. Yes, I know what a belt is. You know what a brooch is. Nope. It's a little thing that you like a uh, like a thing that you pin. It's like a pin. Oh, yeah. what yeah. my grandma wears. Exactly. But make it a holiday brooch. And a bolero. I, most guys don't know what a bolero is. Uh, I always get teased like, oh, did you shrink that in the? It's you almost it? like a, a cropped cropped jacket. <laughs> yeah. If you want to look like it. Oh, the little baby jackets. The little baby jackets. Where she looks the like Aladdin jacket. when she's wearing it. <laughs> so I think we should have one last round of I Never to find out who gets to wear the ugly sweater of shame. Yeah. I, I can see the fear in your eyes, and can I just say it's too adorable. You got one? I do. Um, never have I ever drunk texted an ex at an office party. How'd that work out for you guys? Turns out we're all as equally as inappropriate as one another. We tied! Friends forever! Yes, people, you should be inviting us to your holiday parties because clearly we are a hoot. Bring out the ugly sweaters of shame. I'm excited. Glamour was sad. <laughs> He's never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Glamour looks like a piece of his heart just broke. <laughs> it did, did you hear it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Well, that is it for our show. I think we look absolutely fantabulous. Glamo has never been more angry, <laughs> nor less ready to return to the sets of sexy versus skanky. I'll say thank you for the glass of champagne. <laughs> I'll say thank you very much for coming in and letting us subject you to this. Cheers. I appreciate your insight, boo. <laughs> and guys, thank you so much for watching. We want to know if you've ever committed or witnessed a holiday party fashion foul. 
FYI, we do not count. This is purely for show. Tell us all about it in the comment section. Guys, and don't forget to subscribe to the Hello Style channel and check back every week for more episodes. That's right. And in the meantime, remember this holiday season, be sexy, not skanky. Happy holidays, everybody. Cheers. Cheers.